happy Sunday. How's it going? Oh, welcome back to my YouTube. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as a Live With Biv on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbiv.com. Welcome to my YouTube. So today we're going to be taking a little trip. We're going to take a trip to Mount St. Helens to check out the volcano that erupted in 1980. We're also going to be reviewing the Zoya Winter 2020 Intriguing Collection. So if you guys wanna see Mount St. Helens and the Zoya Collection, let's go. Okay, so this is clearly not Mount St. Helens. This is a place called Cedar Creek Grist Mill. The Cedar Creek Grist Mill is a historical grist mill. It's located in Woodland, Washington, and it's actually a national landmark. This is a big place for photographers to go for fall photos. It's so picturesque and I loved it. So if you've never been to the Pacific Northwest, another thing that you may not know is there is moss on a lot of our trees from all of the rain. So you can see some of the moss here. It's kind of cool. So this first polish is Abi. This polish is beautiful. This is described as a smoky grayish with a hint of red brown. You will see I compare this to Smokin' Hot, Making Harmony, Generation Zen, and Winning Streak coming up here. This is a two-coater. And then we have it here compared to Generation Zen, which is much darker and more brown, as well as Smokin' Hot, which is also a little bit darker. And then here we see it compared to Essie Winning Streak and Making Harmony. All right, and then here we have Hofstadt Bridge. This is a bridge that crosses over a creek and it's the longest and tallest of 14 bridges on the Spirit Lake Memorial Highway at Mount St. Helens. And I thought it was pretty cool, so why not get a video of it? All right, and then here we have the Polish Beverly. This is a two-coater described as a dark purple tone red cream. You will see here, I do compare this to Angora Cardi by Essie. It's pretty similar actually. This has a great formula and I definitely see myself wearing this a lot around Christmas time and the holidays. It does look a little bit lighter in the live swatch. It's more accurately displayed in the swatch picture. And we've arrived. There's Mount St. Helens in the background. It doesn't look too big because it's so far away, but you will see as we get a little bit closer that it's pretty large indeed. And then here we have Isti. This is described as a wintry steel blue with a pop of brilliant royal blue. This basically looks like it's a diamond encrusted blue. This is a pixie dust. I do enjoy pixie dust polishes. They are textured, but the texturing isn't quite as bad if you apply a couple top coats. I really like this polish. I did two coats here and two coats in the swatch picture. Okay, and now here we have Beverly compared to Angora Cardi. So you do see how similar they are, but Beverly is just a tad bit darker. And here we have Lottie. Lottie is described as a soft champagne pearl with a hint of glistening shimmer. I do compare this polish to Naughty or Ice from the new OPI Shine Bright collection and Twinkle in Time from the Essie Winter 2020 collection. This is a two to three coater. I believe I did two coats in the swatch picture and two coats here in the live swatch. This is a gorgeous color. This will be a color that will be perfect for 
the holidays, and New Year's. And then here we have it compared to Twinkle in Time and Naughty or Ice. And then next up here we have a Meredith. Ugh, I love Zoya Shimmers. This is described as a twinkling midnight sapphire blue with an icy light blue shimmer. I mean, you can't resist this polish. Look at it sparkle in the sun. So this is a two coater. I do compare this polish to Balancing Act, and I also compare it to Once in a Blue Moon from the Halloween collection from Etsy. And then here, I also applied a matte top coat, and I love the way it looks matte. Okay, and then here we have Once in a Blue Moon compared to Meredith. You can see they are pretty similar, but Meredith does not have the larger chunky glitters that Once in a Blue Moon has. All right, and next we have Regina. Regina is an alluring dark emerald green metallic. So I don't really have a lot of polishes to compare this to, so I do compare it to Sweater Weather after I swatch it here. <laughs> I did two coats here in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. I love this polish and definitely will be wearing this for the holidays. And then of course, because it's a metallic, I had to top it with a matte coat and oh my gosh, it looks so velvety. I love it. Okay, next up we have Coley. Coley is a ruby pink metallic. Another gorgeous metallic by Zoya. This is a two coater. I did two coats here in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. At first, I thought this might be comparable to Miami Nice by Essie. It's a polish that's super hard to find, and I know a lot of you have asked for a dupe, so I thought I would compare it. However, Coley is much more red than Miami Nice. Here you can see how Coley and Miami Nice compare, and how Regina and Sweater Weather compare to each other. No dupes here. Okay, and then we have Nico. Nico is described as a celadon toned pearl with a touch of silver shimmer blended in. So this is a three coater. When I first saw this polish, I was like, I am not gonna like this at all. This and Eunice, mm, no, not my colors. But I actually liked them more than I thought. And then here we have Eunice. Eunice is the color from this collection that most surprised me. I was sure I wouldn't like it, but I'm almost kind of a fan. So you know how I feel about greens. After the Essie Midsummer collection and Come On Clover, I just, the puke green color just doesn't, just doesn't call to me. So I do compare this to Come On Clover so you guys can get an idea of how those compare. So Eunice is described as a chartreuse metallic green. Okay, and then here we have four greens compared to each other. Here we have Nico compared to Perfect 10, and then Eunice compared to Come On Clover. Which one's your fave? Okay, and next up we have Brett. Brett is described as a deep charcoal indigo cream. This is a two coater, and I do compare this to quite a few Essie blues that I have, but I couldn't find an exact dupe. Great formula, great color, I highly recommend it if you don't already have the shade in your collection. Okay, and here we have comparisons. So, there's a little sneak peek here. I am showing you right here on my pointer finger. This is OMG from Olive and June's Winter 2020 collection. This is probably the most similar of any of the polishes that I own to this color. It's much more sheer on that first coat, but it does build up pretty nicely on the second coat. Then we have Nisha. This is a deep royal blue violet metallic. Amazing. This is so pretty. It's a one to two coater. I compare this to Sexy Divide from Essie. I also did a matte coat on this polish. 
and it's just as stunning matte as it is shiny. Okay, and then next we have SoCo. SoCo's formula is one of those formulas that's just like, mmm, things that make you go, hmm. It's so good. It's like the Essie Watermelon formula. Okay, and then here we have Nisha compared to Sexy Divide and SoCo compared to Adrenaline Brush. They are all beautiful. All right, so that was fun. So let me know which polish was your fave. Let me know down in the comments. While you're there, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. So I'm gonna have to say that my fave polishes were Isti, Coley, Meredith, Nisha, I mean, I could go on and on. They're all so pretty. So like I said, let me know down below what your favorites were. Also, let me know what polish collections you wanna see next. I have the OPI Shine Bright collection, Orly Metropolis collection, and then I also just got the Olive and June Winter 2020 collection. So let me know down below, what do you wanna see next? Otherwise, hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing week. Love you.